arts and crafts. This is the Yamasaki building on the campus of the College for Creative Studies. And CCS. we're going to see your CCS. We're going to go in and see the show of John and Suzanne Stevenson. This is a Yamasaki design building, the first on this campus that has been built up around it. And in this atrium, the work of John and Suzanne Stevenson, pillars, four decades in clay. Well, I'll type that up later so you can see it, but it's this work that you've got to see. Let's look at everything. I've always loved this piece, Sea Fire by Suzanne. Minnie Cleft by John. They have influenced not only ceramic artists, but sculptors and painters. Ecological Jig Number Two by John from 1975. This is a retrospective of a lot of their work, and it really shows the sculpture and the painting. That was School by John. I hope you don't get tired of my voice. I have to identify everything. Suzanne Stevenson, Drip on Doorway. Look at that. I can see how this echoes abstract expressionism, Elizabeth Murray. Two thousand and one. John Stevenson, Twisted Earthscape. I'm going to have to do this video in two parts because I got to show it off. Really wonderful textures. Child Nature from 1999 by John Stevenson. Table Partners from 1979 by John Stevenson. It's really tough work. 1979, this was done at the same time coexisting with the cast corridor artists that were working in the cast corridor area of Detroit. Let me just read a little bit of this. This show recognizes the artistic achievements of two extraordinary Michigan artists who have dedicated their lives to the advancement of ceramic art. Let's look at more. The Yamasaki building on CCS's campus is the home of the craft department. And let's take a peek in here anyway. Here's some of the studios of the craft department. I think it's wonderful that they 
have this work, and we always have artwork in the buildings to educate and influence the entire community. And here's one, John Stevenson, Blue Eyes, from 1984. It's painting. Let's take a panoramic look at the whole show for a minute. Suzanne Stevenson, Blue Wave from 2007. I've always loved this work. I'm a painter, and the surfaces are so rich that you don't stop to think about the differences between painting and sculpture. There are, I'm sorry, painting and ceramics. You just look at the work. by John Stevenson. Wonderful marriage between the concepts of painting, sculpture, and ceramics. I'm waiting for John and Susie to show up. And that's one of our professors and a very fabulous artist, Tom Fardell. Masterful, very sweet book. Yeah, well, he's more than that. He's awesome. Mountain Vase 7 from 1989 by Suzanne Stevenson. Gotta follow it around. I came in here yesterday to do my video, and I was just blown away. And Tom said, oh, all the work isn't up yet. You gotta come back tomorrow. I said, I'll, I'll be back. Rough Shore from 1993 by Suzanne. Now, you know, I'm known for my tornadoes, tornado paintings. I gotta tell you, this gives me some ideas. I always wonder how could I make a three dimensional tornado? She did it. I love this. I'm just, oh wow, well, I'll see the inside. I wonder if she would mind if I uh, begin to work in this manner. And here's her backpack. Fabulous artist and also on the staff of the College for Career Studies. I'm doing a video for my for my my channel. Your channel? Yeah, on YouTube. Okay. Yellow Crater Five, 2004. Look at that. It's small, but there's a monumental quality to that piece. Here's Blue Wave by Suzanne. Blue Wave 2. Moves a lot. Here's a piece from John called Ligature from 1978. You know, if you give yourself over to the work when you're looking at it, it becomes self-explanatory. Ligature, sure. And then you start to see these, the grid, the grid meeting this organic quality. 
seemingly fragile, but it's